So we had to make the name cool. Like uh -huh. the name can kind of do what it's going to be, but it's not going to be anything special until the band sounds good. You know? uh -huh, sure. So, um, sure. but I, I think of that name that way. Just thought the name was kind of cool. It was a, a bit, um, you know, it was sexualized and things like that. And, and I liked that idea that there was a lot of, you know, th there was sex missing from rock and roll in my, yeah. in my eyes. So I thought that was something that was missing, something I wanted to play uh -huh. into uh -huh. and bring you know, more sex back to rock and roll, or back to, I, I see this as a rock and roll band, or like a pop band at its heart. Uh -huh. It's, it's but, funny because uh, the name sounds intimate, but it doesn't necessarily be, uh, sound, uh, c come off as raunchy, I guess. That's good, okay. Yeah, maybe it's, it seems like a sweeter thing, honestly. People find, yeah. people find the name, I've heard of a lot of fans finding the name when they're actually smoking cigarettes uh -huh. and they've just had sex. So yeah. it's a sweet feeling and I think it's a... Uh, kind of endearing in a way. Yeah, it's not supposed to be this raunchy pornographic name. Like you could, I could think of a lot of worse things. So, oh, no, so sure, that's, sure. so that's a, uh, yeah, it should be a... Fuck Party 2000. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so if it was that name, it'd be like, Circle, oh yeah. Circle Jerks, come on. Yeah, Circle Jerks, yeah, yeah, something like that. So there's a lot of raunchy names, like Alien Sex Fiend or something. Yeah, exactly.